Today we're using the Rapid Blaster, coming with Ink Mines and Triple Ink Strike. This is a very defensive kit, especially compared to the second kit we got, which had Torpedo and Inkjet, which could play a little bit of both, but was mainly aggressive. Um, this is a very tough weapon to use sometimes, especially on some maps. Your sub weapon really doesn't enable you to get in easily, and your main weapon isn't the best at taking space unless you have a teammate to help you out there. It is pretty good on Thunder though, and especially in the test matches I've done with it, it has worked out pretty decently, uh, as long as we're not too aggressive, of course. It's nice being able to poke ledges and stuff like that. I am scared of the double charger on this enemy team though, um, but it can help you stop people from approaching. You saw them on there actually comboed with my main weapons direct shot, which is very nice. I believe it also combos a little bit with your secondary shot, not secondary shot, the uh, outside radius. All right, we're gonna try to take him out. I'm probably dead to this probably should have thrown an ink mine down actually uh we're going a little bit too fast here probably shouldn't have jumped in remember we're defensive weapons so we need to try to play for our strikes and stuff like that to help our teammates out and just try to be chip damage in general for our teammates you're gonna stand right here we don't want to be standing in place for too long you are a blaster so you do just want to kind of tap the trigger whenever you're ready to fire and not hold it down unless you're specifically painting or something but you won't be doing that too often unless you don't have anyone nearby, which it's okay for painting. It will give you a line. I'm jumping too much here. Uh, you also don't have great RNG, so your shots are going to miss pretty bad at very close ranges, especially against something like Dapples. I'm going to try to help out my friend in this fight here. He's fighting off a roller. Can't really get a good shot, though, because the angles we have are pretty terrible. Unfortunately, we are just outranged completely by the um, E-Leader. So we can't do too much here. I could have sparked on the ground there and I didn't think I thought it would maybe spark on him, but I did get the direct and obviously uh, usually with rapid blasters and stuff like that sparks will um, get a kill. Yeah, this is just impossible to do at this point. Very unfortunate first match. Um, I don't think we were really playing team play there. I couldn't really get in a good position. I do not feel comfortable playing around chargers either, especially with a blaster which can't move as quickly as something like Splattershot Jr., for example. All right, match number two. Unfortunately, we did not get the most balanced on our ranged. I guess averaged out, it's about the same, considering they have an arrow spray and a Splattershot Jr. and a roller. So really their only long range weapon is the um, E-Leader, but we still need to be careful around it. Uh, they're gonna be probably fairly, they're either gonna be fairly aggressive or incredibly passive. I can see one or the other. It depends on how that spotter shot junior plays. I think for right now, I'm just going to go for strikes. Try to play out of the range of the leader. You're going to rush me, so I'm just going to try to play around that. Unfortunately, just didn't work out. He had enough range to poke me into the corner there and kill me. Um, probably should have went off to the left. That charger was definitely having a sight line there, so I didn't want to go off in that direction. All right, let's not die to the E-leader. We're trying to move pretty quickly here. We don't have a lot of paint. So I'm going to try to do my best to take him out, but that angle is a little awkward and it's very important to have good angles with blasters or else you're not going to be able to do much and take advantage of that blast radius. Um, for now, we're going to have some issues. All right. Well, that's a little unfortunate. I was hoping my uh, Inkmon would stop him, but I guess not. So I think part of our problem here is we're playing way too passively. We need to be more aggressive. So that's what we're going to try to do. All right, well, we're going to die again. I'm not doing a great job of just staying alive. All right, let's try this again. Maybe we can not die immediately. I'm going to rush the charger, try to get him. I'm not sure why he's charging a shot there, but oh well. He threw out his mine. We need to be careful about the roller because I do see it throwing curling bombs. So we need to make sure that's not happening. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out for getting the charger off of our bats. That is not the weapon I was hoping I would fight. I'm very glad that direct went off because that's what we really needed. Trying to move quickly here, make sure we're not getting taken out by the charger. I think I'm gonna probably rush him here. Um, maybe not, that wasn't smart. All right, well, it's fine. Get their back line off the field. I'm gonna signal an ouch maybe so they can notice the roller, but they probably won't in time. In fact, they're being swarmed in that corner there. It's not great. They got a reef solder off, they got a jet off too, so maybe they can clean up there. Uh, not really many points are going out, so we're both fairly defensive teams, surprisingly. I was expecting the other team to be a little more aggressive, but oh well. Nice, got the direct. Didn't intend to get the direct there, but oh well. We do dot to the arrow spray. Probably could have thrown a mine down while we were fighting there. I don't really know 
It's still too close to actually start fighting legitimately. We would have to bank on getting directs there. There's a very fine line you want to find with this weapon where you're actually doing stuff with it. Thankfully, our inkjet takes out the um, charger. So at this point, we want to stop anyone from approaching and taking damage. Okay, we're good. I have strikes now. I'm going to go ahead and just try to get rid of the charger and play quickly here. All right, we got a direct there. That's fine. Our tri-slasher takes out the arrow spray. Actually, we didn't die to the arrow spray. I'm surprised we died to the leader. I was trying to move around them, but that's how it happens with chargers. They get one shot, and if they land it good, if they don't, then they're out of luck for a couple more seconds. So thankfully, with all the stalling we did at the first part of the match, uh, we don't have to defend for too long now since we just got the lead. It's not a large lead. They still have to go through checkpoint a little bit. I'm going to try to paint for strikes, though and stay alive i've not really been doing that but we've really needed an offensive piece to push forward and at the very least take the lead so we could defend instead of just attack because our team is not terrible at defending and we've shown that throughout pretty much the entire match and pretty much again right now not really something you normally do with a blaster but since this one is so defensive we are just throwing out a lot of paint at the very least for blaster um and we're going for a strikes Go ahead and got it or went ahead and got it i'm just gonna try to stall here with strikes you're gonna chase me i'm not really too scared of you until you get too close to me and then we're in trouble all right interesting direction they went off i'm gonna go ahead and just start throwing mines out i think that was the torpedo from the custom junior yes it was okay so not in the best position uh we just lost two players in fact we probably lost because of that a little unfortunate but there's our second loss i don't expect to win too much we got three wins in a row or at least i did before but recording doesn't usually go as well that's kind of how it goes but oh well hopefully we can maybe get some momentum all right so this is an interesting team we have not going to be a lot of paint at all actually double blaster um jet sculpture if i can think correctly and then a charger so defensive wise we might be okay as long as we can keep some paint on the map I see you right there, Tri Slusher. I'm not going to let you do that. Should have poked the ledge first before I actually ran forward. That is something you want to do. I hear the Toxic Mist going off, so we want to make sure we are clearing that area out. He is still over here, so I'm going to go ahead and place a mine down there in case he chases. He's actually just chasing behind very slowly, actually. Oh, our friend's not going to survive that, though. So I'm going to go ahead, put that down. Uh, signal it this way for our teammate. Maybe he will take note of that before the... Splatana gets to him. He actually just takes a very weird route. Uh, interesting thing to note, especially on this map, is that the mines, and it might work every other place as well, unless it's like a random tall tower, um, the ink mines actually go off if the tower goes over one of them, which is fairly nice. So especially on this map, once you get to their platform, let's not die to the bomb. Uh, but once you get to their platform, you can actually place a mine and it'll go off as they're trying to push it back. Uh, that won't matter for now because we're not over there but it will matter for our side of the map which is nice you're gonna get lots of location which is good I'm gonna wait for this zip caster to end and i am playing a little too aggressively like i said before um and probably part of the reason why we've lost is i'm dying way too often so we're gonna try to make sure we're just staying alive and prioritizing that i don't want to be passive too many times but uh there there is a good rule of thumb to stay alive especially if your weapon is just not that good at being aggressive all right we take him out with the ink mine you're seeing get these getting a lot of use which is great I'm gonna try to help out with this kill should have backed off actually and just let the splashdown finish him off because i was actually in range for our kill he just aimed incorrectly there all right we're gonna go ahead and set up a defense here now that we have some space and start shooting at the tower move around try to mix in some main strafing while they're trying to shoot at us that way we are Moving around fast enough and just not being a sitting duck. He has a lot of damage on him. It'll wear off pretty quickly though, so not really a point to keep chasing that. We'll just go ahead and throw some strikes out and get them off of their platform or force them away at the very least from their area. Now, if he wants to chase me, I'm perfectly fine with that. I have two mines set up here, but he actually just runs off in a corner and gets splatted by the um, splashdown. Now you're gonna be scary. I'm gonna back up, let him walk into my mine. Or at least hopefully walk into my mind. We'll get location on him at the very least. I see him over here. So I'm just going to signal to him that he can't really climb up there without taking some damage from a range blaster. Rapid blaster. Not range. We don't even have a range in this match. Gotten a couple hits off. I'm going to try to chase the guy with tacticular. Actually get him. Doesn't matter too much, but oh well. 
You're chasing me. I'm just going to follow the path back. Go ahead and place another mine in case he engages. You're doing very interesting things. I'm getting out of here. You're going to get marked. Take probably a little bit of damage. Try to help out with the one guy. We help out with the other guy instead. Very specific terms I'm using here. You know exactly whom I'm talking about, of course. All right, good job. Got to play very carefully around this Platona since he does outrange us. But as long as we're moving quickly, we should be fine. As long as he doesn't have perfect aim, uh, that, that would be a little scary. I do believe there's someone over here, so I'm just going to try to zone him out. All right, got hit two hits on him. I'm going to go ahead and just pepper this with um, these one things. If he chases me, I have mine set up. That's why I'm being defensive. I'm letting them come to me whenever I fight them. Got a couple of hits off. He's probably not down. I'm surprised he survived that. He reef sided. That is why a reef slid. I guess that's the word for that. That's why he survived. That should finish him off or at least one of them. All right. Good job. Getting lots of assists from that, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and just replace these. That way we can uh, have some damage if they decide to push again. He's backing off. No point in pressing that, especially on great. So it's very scary. We don't want to have to face people shooting up at us, especially if someone tries to shark there. That won't end very well. If he runs forward, we're fine. Either one of them jumping up here is bad news for them because uh, Inkmon's being just great. Just great whenever you have space. If you don't have space, they're not as good. You can't really poke with them. But when you do have space, they're nice for defensive tools. All right. You're going to probably climb up there. So we'll actually take him out. I don't know if he had cooler or not. Uh, he did have cooler. Okay. Well, hello there. All right. We're just going to start shooting at range. Teammates get a wipeout. Very nice. We'll go ahead and climb on tower with them. I'm going to go ahead, uh, pepper these along our base here. That way, if they just rush in, they will have to take some damage, but they didn't even get to the tower in time. So we'll take finally our first win. All right. Match number four. We are fighting double dynamo, which can be good for us, can be bad for us, depending on how close we play it. Uh, we will try to be as defensive as we were last time and maybe have a good time gonna go ahead and just lay these out on the path so we should be able to easily just bully the dynamos as long as we have teammates forward of course uh we've lost everyone now so now i have to play very safely and this is where it gets a little scary i don't think he can reach me here but we're just gonna go ahead and try to set up a defense never mind there's a crab so we're backing away even further uh this is why you do not want to die at the start of a match because it can very easily lead into a snowball especially on tower control with the extra um special gauge gain you get by pushing it so i'm just gonna wait here now okay we're gonna waste that final strike i thought i had a little more time on it not really sure why i didn't register that in my brain but oh well he really likes his vertical so i'm gonna punish him for using that and try to get rid of the strike user all right he's rolling bombs that is a tin attack we know that now oh you've taken some damage i can get a spark off on him there that's really nice it's very important to learn how to flick with a blaster as well. Very similar to chargers in that regard, though your velocity isn't as fast. All right, we're going to go ahead, start placing mons forward here. We did lose someone this way, so we're going to go ahead, throw one here, throw one there. And start shooting up the stin attack here. He's really going for a special. I'm backing up away from the dynamo. As you can see, we're very easily bullying them there. And that's what we're going to just try to continue doing. This guy really likes his verticals. Um, I don't think that's going to end very well for him. I have a couple of mines there so we can wait for them to walk into them. That would be great for us. I'm surprised I didn't die there. He just did name forward. So that's good for us. Oh, good job. Good job, friend. Uh, I'll need to replace those mines, but I do have strikes now to just stall any pushes that they have. I think I'd rather do that, honestly. All right. Set up another mine. I don't think we're going to keep going until we get another wipe here. Really nice corridor for us to defend in, but it is hard, hard, harder for us to actually get through. Having a little bit of issues um, actually speaking there, but that's not out of the ordinary, is it? Lots of people going down over here. I'm going to try to add my own chip damage to the fray, make it a little more chaotic for the enemy team. Hit a direct, which is nice. Easier to land directs on sitting targets. That's why you move around a little more with weapons. Um, not really sure what I could have done there, except, you know, not stand in a corridor. Could have used tower as defense as long as they're pushing us here i don't have to put my minds a little further forward um i can still be defensive because until they really get in power we still have some leeway with how often we can use our minds and the more our minds go off anyways the better it is for us actually surprised he could reach there but it makes sense he is a sloshing type weapon 
Uh, but yeah, the more Armands go off, the more specials we get, the more specials we get, the more we can defend and not die. And we've been doing that a little too much. I'm getting a little aggressive, which I shouldn't be. Uh, I would really like to move forward here and start placing mines on the pushing path. Uh, be careful. Good job. Again, you're seeing these mines get a lot of use. This is definitely a weird weapon for mines. Because on one hand, it works really well because the mines work well whenever the weapon is in power. But when the weapon gets out of power, it's not as good, especially when you have no space to place the mines and especially not relevant positions. I'm going to go ahead and touch this here so our teammates can get some special charge, but I'm not really going to push it too far. I know the dynamo is up on this left platform, so we'll have to be careful. All right, get him with a direct. Nice. They're just running straight at me, which is good for me. Backing away from the dynamo. This guy really is trying to be a vertical flick master with the uh, gold dynamo. Can't say it's really my favorite move on the weapon, considering it's so slow, but you know, it works if it works, right? Gives you that extra range, especially if we scared a player on the blaster hitbox and the other weapons. Actually, our weapons really aren't close range beasts. They're more further back. Surprise, surprise, we actually didn't get lead off that in the entire time. I forgot they made the really strong push at the start. Uh, there's another reason to not die at the start, too, because that can be really bad. I would have actually been a little more aggressive while we were pushing that final push there. Uh, if I had known we had not taken the lead, that is my bad for not looking at the leaderboard. And I'm also still getting a little tired of the jump RNG just being pretty terrible in general. So I'm going to try to probably um, go for some intensify next match because you can see here. It's just not it's shooting into walls. Random stuff like that. I can't do anything here. Again, this would have been a really nice match if we wouldn't have died at the start. I think that is just where our downfall was. Couldn't even spark that guy there. Yeah, a little unfortunate, but if you have a bad start, it's hard to recover from it unless you're unless you're really skilled at a particular weapon. And I'm not really good at this weapon, so I couldn't really pilot it to victory there. All right, match number five, I believe. This team is a lot more our speed. So hopefully we can get in a good position and try to just zone them out. Go ahead and place our mines. Just try to be defensive and make sure we're not losing as many points at the start as we did before. So we're going to trade there. I'm fine with that. That's not really something I'm scared about. I don't like that everyone else lost their fights as well. Hopefully we can be a little more team oriented. Thankfully they traded enough there to. Um, OK, let's let's try not to die as quickly. But hopefully we can get together and maybe try to support each other. That's something I struggle with a lot. Just because uh, it, it's easy to get a rush off of getting a lot of kills with a particular weapon. Do you want to jump up here? Also, I did um, forget to switch to. Are you going to keep doing this or just OK? So the brush is particularly annoying for us since it can just kind of get out of our effective range. And that's why we want a teammate around us. Uh, yeah, he's just kind of jumping around weird. Okay, we're going to try to move forward. Get to direct on him, finally. So now we can actually start pushing. He's going to climb that there. Thought I would move away from the bomb in time. In fact, I guessed it would move off of the tower, but that was wrong entirely. Making a lot of risky plays here, and it's not working out. Man, I'm just dying too often. Okay, we're going to slow down, take a breather, and go back into the support play style we were trying to do before. Nice wipe out. OK, we can start pushing now if I can climb the wall and I will try to get us in a good position with mines, because if we can, this is a really good spot for it because we're going to have to be around this anyways. So as long as we can stop the brush from approaching and we did because of our mind being there. This is probably the most I have actually remembered to use mines, which is pretty cool, because if you've watched me before using mines, I'm not very good with them. I forget about them half the time anyways. Gonna try to stall out with strikes as much as we can there. I'll take the trade. I think I'm fine with that. Could have swam a little bit at the end of that little combo and maybe survived, but I think it was too late. No one's really in a good jump position. They're all kind of being fought or chased, so I'm not gonna move in. Just gonna move in regularly. I will move in, but you know what I mean. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. Again, jump RNG just not working out very well for us. Should have backed off. I had the range for him. You really want to be predictive, especially with longer range blasters. Just because of that, and even regular blasters, being predictive with movement is really important. 
and more aggressive weapons are used to being more aggressive so you can usually predict when they start moving forward especially if they're just out of your range then they're gonna start reaching you i'm gonna back up here i think that is a good idea they're gonna go ahead and strike need to be prepared for something like that that's a little scary i'm gonna try to protect our friend if he goes after me i'm fine i'm under a ledge so it's hard for him to hit stuff that's slosher though i i can't really do anything against slosher like that i didn't want to move immediately because that's where he was pre-firing and you know if you move where someone's pre-firing they're gonna get you and if you have over 30 damage against a regular slosher then you're gonna get splatted or even just at 30 damage all right right now all we have to do is stall so i'm not even gonna keep pushing the tower there there's no point i'm gonna go ahead and set up mines kind of shoot at the tower maybe get a free pick or something when they climb on gonna recover our friends fighting down there need to make sure they're not climbing the tower there friend gets a kill i can actually finish this here so yeah there we go there's our second win bit anticlimactic but it worked out all right that's number six only one aoe weapon on the enemy team uh not counting bombs of course but should be fine for us until we get rushed down by the splatter shot i didn't expect that we are a defensive weapon i've said this the entire time i don't know why i'm rushing in and trying to take space immediately we need to begin to gain space on our turf before we actually start fighting like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to let them walk into our range and um, try to move predictively based on that. This is still a little far down, but Bluefin is a bowl map, so it is still just a bit dangerous. Uh, I want you to maybe keep fighting me and not my teammate. Got her direct on him. Teammate gets the kill. And keep an eye on the uh, teammate over there because he was damaged. Just wanted to make sure no one jumped him or anything like that. Uh, didn't really have any information that somebody was hiding over there, so didn't have to stay, but wanted to just in case someone was trying to flank. Gonna go ahead and strike over there. This is one of the tall towers. I don't know if it actually activates the ink mines at, at this point because of how tall the tower is. All right, I'm gonna try to use the uh, falling to actually help us there, and it worked out very well because our teammate got the kill. And very happy to get let teammates get kills with this weapon because it is very chip damage oriented. You've taken two hits. All it really needs is one more hit to finish you off. I'm going to try to just play very defensively here, though. Very nice. I don't really mind dying there. We'll keep some of the charge for our tri strikes as well. That way we can maybe get it a little faster when we move back in. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump back in here. And looks like maybe we'll take our third win. Bit anticlimactic, but you know what? That's fine. We all played teamwork and we got the push. All right, there's three wins with the Rapid Blaster. Didn't go great, didn't go terribly. We went even on our win-loss ratio. I'm fine with that. This was a particularly tough weapon to use because yesterday, which don't, don't think about it too hard, but the day before I recorded this, I tried to use this weapon at the very least in practice. Did not go well at all. I maybe got two wins and lost about 10 times, 11 times in total. Did not have a great day. Tried it again this morning. Didn't go great either, but finally when I got off work, I had a little bit more energy, was more aware of my surroundings, and it went fairly well. Still went even, but like I said before, we got three wins in a row before I even started recording because I like to feel a little bit more confident with the weapon before I record, and it went fairly well there. It went decently here. I think if I would have just stopped dying in the first few matches and even in the other matches we lost we would have done better especially in the beginning uh match third match we lost at the very least would have went better if we didn't lose so many points and i could have helped that way by using mines and strikes to just stall the tower there even though the dynamos are scary i can still play under ledges and stuff like that a bit safer even though they are still dynamos either way i never did switch to the intensify hat if i did i'd probably use this and then this one and that gives us an ink recovery too which is fairly nice bit more um efficient with skills especially considering blasters are a bit ink hungry either way i hope you enjoyed let me know if you've watched these before if you like the intro where i explain a bit more about the weapon i explain the same stuff i just started the match with it or if you like just jumping into the match immediately me explaining it there uh, I don't mind doing it either way. I'd like to see which ones you guys prefer. Either way, once again, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a comment below and maybe even consider subscribing. Until next time, bye.